Hello kindergarten, it is Mrs. Merrick. Today we're going to do module four, lesson two. And our objective is I can build and break apart numbers up to five using fingers and linking cubes. So our first thing we have to do is we're going to make a number bond with the number three. It's asking us to put beans on each top. So we're going to put two beans on the top. Then we're going to put one bean over here because there's only one dot. Now, we're going to slide our beans along that special path to make our hole. Can you help me? One, two, three. So we can say two. And one make three. Nice job. Now we're going to get three beans and put them on the top. Now is three my whole or my two parts? Because remember, my whole is everything all together. My two parts are when we're separated. Three is my whole because look at. I'm going to have to slide them and separate them into two parts. But what's missing here? Our special what? Our special path is missing, so we are going to have to draw it. Let me just get our marker. Okay, so here we go. Here is our special path. Now we can say, one down here, and then one. Two. Now, in order to find out our whole, we can walk them back up to our special path. So we can say one and one, two is three. Nice job. We're going to get three beans again. But what is missing from our picture? Our special paths. Now, do those paths go to the part or to the whole from what we have on our picture already? We have our whole, so our paths are going to lead us to our two parts. Very good. One, two. And we are going to bring our beans to our special path. So we can say one. How many are over here? One. Two. Make. One. Two. Three. So we can say one and two make three. Nice job. We're going to do one more. We're going to put two beans on the top and one bean on the bottom. Now, how are they going to get to our hole? We need to draw the special path again. And our hole is right here, so let's walk them across their path. One, two, sorry, two, and one, make one, two, three. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to warm up our brains a little more with some say 10 push ups. We remember how to do these, right? We do our 10 and then how many are on the bottom? So we have 10, one, ten, two, ten, three, ten, four, ten, 
five, ten, six, ten, seven, ten, eight, ten, nine, ten, ten. Awesome job. Okay, so we are going to have another party today, and we are going to put our friends in different circles and figure out the two parts in the whole. Okay. So we, what they want us to do first is put all our friends in the first circle. This is all they want us to do. But it doesn't give us any directions on how many kids went to the party. So, is there only one way to divide up these kids to go walk to the party? No. We know we have how many as our whole? One, two, three, four. We have four as our whole. We know that. So, can this person walk to the party with this person? Yeah. And what if this person wants to join them? Is that okay? Yeah, and then maybe he just wants to walk alone, which is okay. You should probably have a buddy to be safe. But who's to say that she doesn't come down and say, Oh, I want to walk with you. Does that work? Do we still have four people? Yeah, we do. There are so many different ways to make four. Or look, they could all walk together and how many other people walked in? Zero. There are so many different ways to make numbers and that's what we're gonna explore today with the number five. We're gonna figure out all the different ways we can make five. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Merritt made a mistake. First, we're going to do the number four. Tomorrow, we get, we're going to work more with the number five, okay? I'm so sorry. So, we have the four kids at the party, and now it's time for them to go home. So, one child's home is this way, up this path. And then, the other three live down here at the second path. One... Two, three. Were there still four kids at the party to start with? Yeah. Did they all get home? Yeah. Did they all take the same way? No. They took two different special paths. So we have one. And how many down here? One, two, three. So one and three all together make four. Remember, two parts in our whole. So we had, I'm gonna draw what happened. So we had four kids. So we're gonna write the number four in our whole. Now, this is something we're going to learn to do throughout the lessons, so do not worry. How many kids went home on the top path? That was the right home. How many is up here? One. And how many kids went at the bottom path? One, two, three. Very good. Is that the only way they could have gone home? No. Remember we talked about this? Maybe she decides to join. And then this girl decides to join. There are so many different ways we could have done this problem. We just had to listen to the word problem and figure out what they wanted us to do. It's important you listen and figure out the details of what they want you to do. Okay, 
Now we're going to work with the number five a little bit, just for a few minutes. So we are going to put all five cubes as our whole. One, two, three, four, five. Now, just like the kids walking home from the party, is there only one way to take these cubes and split them up? No, we're going to break them up into all different parts. Are you ready? So what's our hole always going to be today? One, two, three, four, five. But the two parts may switch. We have one here. And I'm going to put four down here. These four cubes walk down this path. And what are my two parts? Put them up on your fingers. I have one and four. So I can say one and four make five. Good job. Now this cube wants to come back and he wants to go up here. What would my number sentence be now? One, two, and how many below? Three, so two and three make five. Good job. And this cube wants to come back up here and go like this. Now, how many do I have in my top circle? Three and two, so three and two make five. Good job. Now, what would my number sentence be? One, two, three, four. And how many below? One, make five. Good job. What about this? One, two, three, four, five. And how many below? Zero, make five. So is there just one way to make a number? No. <clears throat> you can make a number in a lot of different ways. And it's important to remember that you always have your two parts in your hole. Your parts walk across the path to make your hole. Okay? So for today's exit ticket, you will be figuring out the two parts that make a hole sometimes. Sometimes you'll be figuring out just the hole. You guys are doing a really nice job and I'm really proud of you. What I want you to remember is when they give you a whole number and they may ask you to separate it or they may have you create and think about what you can do like we just did and there's not just one right answer. You need to remember our whole as two paths that come to it and those are the two parts so in each problem you'll have two parts in one whole i hope you have a wonderful day and if you have any questions at all just message me and ask you're doing a great job keep it up and i will see you tomorrow